Hi there, and welcome back Consider to Baldur's done. Gate 2. Oh wait. I'm Baron, but before we leave, we should actually level Eri. Because she got a cleric level out of that. She's a cleric of the 24th, no, 21st level. And she gets abilities. Okay, a comet. Why not? What's that? Okay. Comet is good. She gets an additional level 7 spell. That's not really much. But we take it nevertheless. What do we want? We have an implosion. That's nice. That's rather useless because you're not going to go into close quarter combat. <coughs> hey, Storm of Vengeance seems to be a good thing because it only attacks enemies, apparently. That's good, I want that. Boom. Crowd control. Very well. And now we move on. Oh, now that door is open too. What would we get on the other side? I have no idea. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Oh. You may have fought the Elemental Prince and won, but I am not so easy to kill. Destroy them, my minions. Wait a second. Uh, what do we have here? We have an awesome vampire, we have Diatha, we have a demon knight, and we have a hive mother. Awesome! I think she's dead. Great. My core might shall strike you down! Weapon has no effect. Is she dead already? She's injured. Maybe we should help them somewhat. The dragon's breath is always welcome, I think. No, you will attack the hive mother. What's so wrong with you? What is my task? Near death. Thank you. Now we have a vampire and a demon knight. If you have aid to offer, I would gladly partake. Really, really? Fine. It shall be. So we attack you. Great and we cast the web in here too. Yep. Oh, this is gonna be Okay, and now we focus on you. Oh wait. Hey, Wood. Don't just stand there. Thanks. Now was that so difficult? I don't know. Uh, maybe I wasted too much time by focusing on the Hive Mother first, but then again, those Beholders can Consider really fuck things done. up.
And that's it, nothing else to get here. Doesn't look like it. Hey, how can you be trapped? You have your armor. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me I let him f fight the battle without his armor on. <laughs> Shit. But I gave you your rings back. Oh well. Well that explains uh, why he died so easily. Dark steel plus four. Fashioned from dwarven dark steel, this heavily enchanted shield provides more protection than most suits of armor. Legend holds that it was meant to be presented as a gift to the dwarvish hero Grim Red Heavy Hand, but he disappeared on his ill fated quest into the bowels of the marching mountains before the work was completed. With Grim Red gone, the shield was sold to the highest bidder though the dwarven smith refused to divulge the mysterious bio's identity. It was a draw, apparently. Plus 10, resistance to fire, cold acid and poison. But I think it's... doesn't have a better armor class than this one. But that gives you a bonus of slaving throws. It's not bad either. I mean... 10% resistance is not that much. I'd rather have a better saving throw, I guess. Yeah, and next time wear your armor. <laughs> that was stupidity on my part. Can't be helped. So, um, I think we should heal up somewhat. This time you didn't. Ah, that's why you used a lot of potions because you. Ah, that's so stupid of me. Oh well, that's how it works sometimes. Yes. Oh, that she was already healed. Okay. Let's go then. I will do my best. I know, and this time the door is open. That's awesome. Let's go in here then. Through destiny and might, we shall rule supreme. So you are the one who has caused so much trouble. I must admit, I am not impressed. Why not? I caused much trouble. Does Sender think she can stop me by constantly throwing these pathetic slaves in my way? Your slaughter filled progress has greatly alarmed my mistress. If I defeat you, my reward will be truly worthwhile. Oh, Captain, my Captain! Eh? Why do you address me as such, Beholder? You have a most peculiar attitude. I shall have to report it to the mistress soon. Oh, never mind that. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I want to say that too. Every now and then. And there you go, getting all upset. I just had a comment here before this door spawn crashes you into so much mush. Hmm. That may not necessarily happen. Uh, yes, anyhow. <laughs> On the off chance that you do manage to kill the ball spawn, won't Sandy just go to the matron mother and take all the credit for a greedy little self? Uh, you speak the truth, my mono-ocular friend. I would rather claim the credit for such a deed myself. Have you a suggestion? I'm just thinking, it would be so much better if you fought Hey, which blow me in single combat. Fuck, I'm a mage. Then you could claim to have killed them all by yourself. Even the matrons couldn't refute that. Parades, gold, and you torture egg. It'd be all yours. How do I know you will not betray me if I agree to this? Do not worry, I have it covered. I happen to have a little gear spell with me here. Loser of the match dies along with all the allies in the room. What do you say? Are you in a gambling mood? No, this is ridiculous. Okay, uh, the point is we could actually do that, but not without preparation, because Haywood actually is a mage. And as a mage, uh, yeah. 
First of all, you give me your ring. He doesn't stand a chance in, in, in combat, really. That doesn't work. But we can do something about that. So, blur. This one. Um, this one. And what else could we want? Can you target that? Yes. Protection from evil. Since it's a draw, it's he's probably evil. Um, yum yum yum. What do we have? Protection from magical energy. And protection from magical weapons. You cost um where is it? Defensive harmony? A black blade of disaster. And now I I hope I didn't miss anything. But I'm pretty sure we got everything now. A tensor's transformation. And you could use the ring that would haste you. Improved haste? No? Magic resistance. Oh well, we shall see how that works out now. It shall be. Through destiny and might, we shall rule supreme. Yeah. Okay, let's get this over with. Consider it done. Four levels drained. Well, that worked. Ah, and so it ends. And so does my service with this particular drow dolt. I mean, what's with these drow? Have they nothing better to do than summon me for their stupid task? Hey, aren't you the spectator beholder from the Sehuagin city? That's me. And can I say again, thank you for releasing me from one of the most boring tasks in creation. These drow will just never learn. How is it that you didn't die with a drow? Oh, what? Did you really think I would cast the gears on myself too? That would be stupid. Uh, so what are you going to do now? Oh, you know. Find the nearest hive. Check out the ladies. The usual. You? 
Ah, fighting for my life. The usual. Right, don't take it personally, but I've got to go. Nature calls and all that. Just don't collapse the whole roof until after I'm gone, if you'd be so kind. Ha, <laughs> the spectator is nice. I like him. So, with the right preparations, you can turn yourself. Diatha is dead, and the rogue Bullspawn draws ever closer. Mythical, my mind flayer ally. You must stop the fool before this goes further. I think this is the same voice actor that also does Queen Elysim. Do not wave your tentacles at me, Mythical! I have no other choice! My minions are slaughtered! Even my priestess has been destroyed! That's right. If you wish to feast on the brains of those that ball enslaves, you will unleash your illithid on the bald child that invades the enclave! You must not allow the interloper to reach my inner sanctum! Okay. So yeah, with the right preparations, you can turn your mage into quite a powerful I will do uh, my warrior best. if you want to. Yes. Tanzer's transformation yes. does that for you, and the Black Blade of Disaster is a useful spell because it actually works as a plus five weapon if I'm not totally wrong. No, it's a plus. F oh, what this spell enables the caster to be the black black blade shaped plane or lift about three feet long. It jumps into the caster's hand and is used as the normal sword, remaining there for the duration of the spell. The caster is considered to be proficient to the point of grand mastery in this weapon. The sword acts as a plus five weapon, deals two to twenty five damage to his its victims. Also, every time it hits a target, the victim must make a save versus death at plus four be disintegrated. There is also a ten percent chance with every hit that the sword drains four levels from the target and heals the wielder twenty points. Yep. If you want to make your mage a fighter just for a short pers uh, short uh, period, give him that weapon. It's awesome. And then a few buffing spells to increase armor class and stuff like that, and you're good to go. Eleven. Hmm? Yep. So we can give the ring back to Minsk, I guess. He needs it more. But yeah, I mean, you can t take those challenges if you want. But you really need to prepare. How do I get to that? Apparently not at all. Okay, so the question is which way? I think we came from that way, we have to go to that way. And there's no way to actually reach those, those archers. Well, we could use a shadow door perhaps to go to that spot, but then again. Who really needs that? We have enough stuff, enough stuff as it is. Drow scimitar plus three, bowstring of Gond. Gond Wonderbringer, the god of invention and innovation, created this enchanted bowstring to improve the accuracy of even the most powerful magical bows. Awesome! Sounds like something we could use to upgrade a bow or something. Moving on. Mind flares. Great. I shall not yield to you. No fucking way. Back. Very well. Next time. No, you will attack the mind flare. Evil cannot be allowed to fest. Gotcha good. Gotcha good. You will fall. Thanks. That was fun, right? Gotcha. One, two, three, four, five. It's not trapped. Oh, what's that? Oh, I think I lost my... No, it's still there. The want of spell striking. Um, what's that? Liquid mercury. Most smiths would be fascinated by this liquid metal in this vial. At the very least, a skilled craftsman could use the Shimmer Quicksilver to augment an existing weapon. Okay, I don't know whether we have to bring that to Casper now or that dwarf. Arrows of Ice, 
board plus two. Oh, she's actually using those. Oh well. So uh, let's take a look at things. I thought we had a special sword for fighting illithids. That's it. Some believe this massive blade to be of dry origin, though others dispute this claim. However, all agreed this great sword was fashioned with a single purpose to rid the world of Illithid. To those who wield the Psyon's blade are those who wield the Psyon's blade are immune to mind flayers, psionic attacks, the bewildering gaze of Umberhawks often found serving the Illithid are similar rendered harmless. It's a two handed sword. Who would have thought? All right. So I, if you you're wish. that immune, let's see how that works. Who are you? A vampiric elithid. Come, take you. Hmm. I see the point. It's working. Is that another door here? Next time. <coughs> oh, great! Level drained. How many levels did you lose? That's not funny. Ari, you're gonna be tired again. Faster than Chick, take a fast pause. Um. Why don't you switch that? Oh, you can't equip it. Hmm. Not usable by thief and fighter. Fine, I think you have to live with that then. I stand ready. So be it. Vampiric illithids, that oh. sucks. We have such stories amongst my people. Being underground is just not for the Avariel. My legs are just aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Can, can we rest now? What? Please. He died? How did that work? That's weird. You point, I punch. Okay. Oh, my legs are just aching. I stand ready. I never walked so much in my life. Not work. Can we rest now? Where Minsk Please. goes, evil stands aside. Tom, take you. <laughs> you will fall yet. I approve heartily of the path that has been taken so far. The good has been upheld. What happened to you? Intelligence drained by Mind Flare. That's not too bad. What combat? Oh, that's a door. Okay. It shall be. Let's get Consider in here. My army has been slaughtered. 
falling helplessly before your might. You would have made a great ally to our cause. Alas, the time for such possibilities is past. That's right. But the lives of my servants and slaves have not been spent in vain. They have bought me time to prepare a special surprise for you. Prepare to meet your end, Paul Spawn. Oh, really? Um, okay. What's that? Sendai. Okay. You have a plan? Yes. True thing. I, as you wish. Where is she? You have the true seeing, you don't see her. How come? Draw, draw. Going on here. Here, I will do my best. <laughs> uh, no, that's not working. That does not work. I need to prepare for that battle, apparently. Yeah. I tell you what, I will prepare for this battle between the videos, and when we turn on, you know, in the next video, I will be prepared, and we will kick some ass. My legs are just aching. I've never so, so much in thank my you life. very much for watching, can, can we rest and now? see you soon. Please.